Hello, in this video I want to show you how you can control the direction of a DC motor using what we call a full bridge. Now once again, uh, in terms of the hardware, I've got a PIC Micro microcontroller. On port B I've got an LCD display. On port C I've got a splitter and I've got our actuators panel with the DC motor, that's the one we're interested in. And I've also got an oscilloscope, which we'll look at later. Um, for this, I've built a slightly different program that you can see here. On the panel, port B has got the LCD display. And the DC motor, we're now using two pins to control. The pulse width modulation is on port C bit 2. And we now have a direction pin on port C bit 1. In the previous video we showed you how to use pulse width modulation to simply control the speed of the DC motor and the direction pin was always set uh, high. In terms of the program what we've got is we're going to set some uh, parameters the PWM value we're going to set to be just 200 we're going to enable the LCD in the motor we've got an endless loop uh, we're going to print the direction and then send the DC motor forwards at a rate of 200 out of 255 and then we're going to send it backwards. So we're just going to go forwards and backwards. And I've downloaded this program already. Uh, if I turn the power supply to the motor on, you can see it goes forwards for some seconds, backwards for some seconds. Hard to see on this video, but the motor is, is turning. I'm going to turn that off because it makes a bit of a noise. Um, but the signals are still going into the um, motor. So if we just put that down there and look for a moment at the signals that are coming out. Um, we've got a uh, value of 200 going out and you can see that the state of bit one on port C is going up and down and that is dictating the direction of the motor. Okay, so in this case it's high and uh, so it's going one way. In this case it's high, uh, low, so it's going the other. Let's just look at how that works in terms of the hardware. So there's loads of information about how bridges work on the internet and I've just picked a page here. And uh, traditionally these circuits were made up of four transistors. You arrange them like this. So on the A side you'd have a couple of transistors, on the B side two transistors. Um, to go in one direction you would turn transistor Q1 and Q4 on and so the current would flow down through this red line in this direction. To go in the other direction you'd turn Q3 and Q2 on with Q1 and Q4 off so the current would flow in that direction. And that shows you how bridges basically work. Now on our little motors board it's actually a chip and these days you seldom find bridges made of separate transistors uh, the chips are very cheap and work so well and actually have lots of other little circuits for protection and things inside. Um, so we've got a simple uh, chip inside the actuators panel board. Uh, it's just there, you, can only, you can't see it um, uh, on this shot. Uh, and it uses one pin for direction and the other pin has the actual PWM signal on it. Okay, so that explains how full bridges work. Thank you.